Let's take a look at how years one through four build on one another and differ. First, year one, the base of our triangle. So, in year one there is lots of time spent with the mentor and resident educator working basically hand in hand to improve the resident educator's understanding of uh, district and building policy, state rules, regulations, what is this resident educator program, etc. Lots of conferencing and lots of observation. As we move from year one to year two, the amount of time spent together is reduced and there is less focus on things like the emotional support of the resident educator because after that first year of experience, while some will be more confident than others. The hope is that more time could be spent in things like co-teaching and in some cases there may not even be a one-to-one -one ratio of mentors and resident educators. Moving on from year two to year three there will not be a specific mentor assigned to each resident educator and during year three if the district and resident educator agree that the RE is capable of performing well on the summative assessment then the resident educator could take the summative assessment and at that point year four would become more reflective. But if the resident educator didn't pass the summative assessment or didn't take it at all then it must be taken in year four and by year four we would hope that with those years of experience the educator would be working in a somewhat autonomous fashion and would be able to identify and utilize supports as needed. Next up let's look at what kind of time the resident educators and mentors can expect to have invested in this program. Let's look here at year one. We see that during year one something to the fashion of about an hour a week should be spent and a lot of that time in year one the vast majority of that time should see the resident educator and mentor working closely together. By year two more time with just the resident educator doing the work and as little as a few hours a month actually dedicated to bringing the resident educators work in line with the RE program. We see year three with still as little as a few hours per month being spent but the focus can be on working toward that resident, uh, resident educator summative assessment if the resident educator and district decide that it's to be taken during year three. Year four the RESA, the Resident Educator Summative Assessment, must be completed in year four and anyone who doesn't complete all of the summative assessment in year three has to retake only the portions that they need during year four. Those who passed will work in professional growth and leadership activities and perform reflection. In the greater scope we should see a progression from a shiny new teacher who really can use lots of support to a slightly more seasoned teacher who still needs the support but has a much firmer grasp on what is needed and what isn't needed and where to find it. And then after year four, if all goes well, that teacher will get a professional license and move from this work into professional development done through the LPDC, Local Professional Development Committee. Thank you.